Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Polkadot. Yeah, Bitcoin selling off a little bit today, not unexpected. <laughs> so it's a rocky road for sure. Um, yeah, um, this is another attempt here of putting a top in place for this B wave that we've been tracking. It actually put a, pushed a little higher. I like the look of it more than what we had um, down here where we had already a potential top in place for the B wave. But as you know, if you watched the previous videos, resistance goes all the way up to $4.65. So technically it can still push higher, absolutely. But now it seems to have a break to the, um, to the downside of the ascending wedge pattern. Now it still needs to be a sustained break. We had a bit of a fake out here as well. And there are a lot of fake outs in the market at the moment. It's just that kind of market. So all I'm highlighting is this is another attempt to put a top in place for the B wave. And a few other coins are due to forming a top, Bitcoin as well. So maybe maybe Bitcoin has formed a top just now here in this fourth wave finally. So it certainly depends on Bitcoin's ability to do that flush now um, to a degree here that, that will impact DOT as well, as you can see. So let's see. I mean, target for the C wave to the downside. What are the levels to watch if the B wave has topped now? We're talking about the 61.8 extension as the very first and early target. That's at $3.94. And then the one-to-one -one ratio is at $3.72. And they are the two main levels that I would pay attention to while Bitcoin is down lower. While Bitcoin, well, while DOT is going down lower, um, it technically already starts. There are a few different, few different levels to watch. I mean, we, we sort of defined here the broader range between three dollars and forty six and three well and four dollars basically as potential target area. But obviously, as I said, as soon as we have a confirmed top in place, we can specify that this further. And this these are the levels. This is the attempt to um, yeah to make the targets a little bit more precise. We will be able to get even more um, precise once we have more detailed waves in place in the C wave. Yeah, not in this, uh, one second. Yeah, yeah, in this C wave, because this would be a five wave move, of course. So it's going to be interesting now to see if price can first reach that $3.94 level, $3.95 level, and how a reaction to this level will be. Certainly at this stage, expectations have been for lower prices. And so far it seems to be following through. And even if we go higher from here, it would most likely first of all, well, I would first of all consider that it's just an extension of the B wave. Okay, so just an extension of the B wave. Um, for anybody who missed out on the bigger picture, I mean, you can always check out our long term video section, but this seems to be a five wave move down in an ending diagonal. So each of the sub waves uh, is corrective. Yeah, each of the sub waves is an ABC or a WXY structure. And the wave five seems to be a WXY. And we could be in the Y wave now, which again is that ABC structure. So this could be the last wave down of this entire bear market, but we just need to be careful without a bottoming signal of some sort. We also can't confirm that a low is in place, but this seems to be, um, yeah, I mean, it seems to be heading for another bear market low. It already made one here in September, 1st of September, end of August. So, it seems to be still in the making, you know, this and another low is still in the making, but we need to be watching at these support levels if a lasting low could be put in. So I'm going to watch for bottoming structures. That's my update about DOT. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.